Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. Today I'm going to explain why you shouldn't merge cells in Excel, and the much better way to accomplish the same thing. Merge cells is something people tend to discover early on when they start using Excel. There's a big obvious button right on the home page. It's a quick and easy way to format your spreadsheets, make them look nicer, and separate out sections. And it's fine for very simple spreadsheets. But once you start building more complex spreadsheets, merge cells cause a lot of problems, and you'll be left wondering what the heck is going on. Or if you're a more experienced user, you'll recognize that the problem is merge cells, but then you'll have to hunt through the spreadsheet to find them, then unmerge them, then find a way to redo all that nice formatting you originally had with the merge cells, and then redo what you were trying to do originally that didn't work because of the merge cells. That's a situation I've found myself in plenty of times. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a quick sample cost breakdown I've put together. Let's say we want to label what are fixed costs and what are variable costs. So let's go ahead and merge these across. I'm going to merge that in there, and I'm going to merge these. Now we want to total up all these costs. So I click here, and then I go to the Sum button, and then I try to select here, and wait a minute, now it's selecting everything. It's not letting me just select the January column. Even if you try to just select the January column by highlighting, it makes you select everything. And you see down in the status bar, it's giving you the sum of everything, not just January. Let me show you another example of problems merge cells can cause. Here we've got two years of sales data by month. So it seems sensible to put the year above the months and then merge that. So let me just do that for each year. And this looks like a reasonable way to format things. But now let's say we want to calculate commissions. So we go over here and these are sorted in a different order than they are here, so we need to use an X lookup. Normally, that wouldn't be any problem. So let's say it's a 15% commission. So we're going to say equals 0.15 times X lookup, parentheses, and then we select A7 here, and then hit F4 three times to make that a mixed reference. And if you're wondering why I did that, you should check out my two-part video on absolute, relative, and mixed references, which I'll link to in the video description. Then comma, and we go to this tab, and select column A, and hit F4 to make that absolute, comma, and then we select column B, except it doesn't let us select column B, because we have these merged cells here, so it forces us to select every column for the year. So our X lookup isn't going to work now. Just a quick aside for anyone who's about to correct me in the comments, technically this will work, but it will turn the X lookup into an array formula, which is much harder and more confusing to work with. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, don't worry. What you need to know is don't do this, especially since I'm about to show you a better way. So I'm just going to hit escape to cancel this formula. Here's the better way to do this, which accomplishes what you want for merge cells without causing the problems. Let's go back to the first spreadsheet and unmerge these cells. So I'm just going to click here and go up to the merge button and unmerge them. Instead of merging, highlight the cells where you would want to merge and then right click and go to format cells and then you want to select the Alignment tab here, and under Text Alignment Horizontal, select this drop-down, and choose Center Across Selection, and then OK. And now you see this looks like it's merged. It looks exactly the same as when you merged it, but you can still select an individual column now, whereas you couldn't when it was merged. That's buried in a menu in a non-intuitive place, so I'm going to show it to you again. So you highlight the cells that you would want to merge, and then you right-click, go to Format Cells, and you want to pick the Alignment tab under Format Cells, and then under Text Alignment Horizontal, click the drop-down and do Center Across Selection. 
and now your cells look merged without any of the problems of merge. And we can go ahead and just add up these cells like the way we wanted to originally, and we can just fill that formula across and everything works. Same thing over here. Let's just go ahead and unmerge these cells, then center across selection for each of the years. So again, it's right click, format cells, alignment, text alignment, horizontal, center across selection. And we'll do the same for 2021. And now if we go ahead and do our X lookup here, equals X lookup, seven and hit F4 three times, comma, and then select column A and hit F4, then select comma, then select column B. And then we want to leave this as relative and close parentheses. And now we can just fill this down and fill it across. And my videos on references talk more about how you can use this method to build large spreadsheets extremely quickly. That's why you should use center across selection instead of merging cells. It looks the same, but without any of the drawbacks. And it's not very well known because it's buried deep in a non-obvious place, but it will save you a lot of hassle. And just a quick note about the channel. I took a break from making videos while working on some other projects, but now I'm back to posting them regularly. While I was away, the channel passed 500 subscribers. That may not be huge in terms of YouTube channels, but it's more people than I've ever taught in any of my classes. I truly appreciate all my viewers. If you find this content useful and want to help the channel grow, please like, subscribe, link to videos, and tell your friends about it. And check out rockstarexcel.com where you can sign up for our newsletter for tips on using Excel to make your life easier, submit questions for a future video, and book a free consultation to learn how we can save you time and money with consulting and done-for-you solutions. Thanks for watching and stay tuned so we can help make you an Excel rockstar.